If you want to know what to include in your butler's pantry, don't go anywhere. All right, guys, welcome back for another episode of Simone TV. And once again, guys, thank you for joining me and allowing me into your homes to bring you all of this information. Today, what I want to talk about is what to include in your butler's pantry. Now, this is not so much talking about should you have one. This is more or less as in what you should include in your butler's pantry because a lot of people do try and have the butler's pantry. They're a little bit confused in what they should include. Now, I'm gonna give you through a whole bunch of things you can include and why, why, sorry, why you may or may not want it, but ultimately, guys, it's gonna come down to how you plan on utilizing your butler's pantry. Then, the, obviously, the most common thing is butler's pantry is gonna have the shelves. This is where all your pantry is gonna be. So let's just park that. We're not gonna really cover that because that's just a given shelf is gonna go in there. What I wanna talk about most is going to be a sink. Do you need a functional operating sink in there? You know, obviously you already got your sink in the kitchen. Do you want a second sink? Will you use it? Do you want to keep this one as your one where you get a backup sink? Um, the second thing, guys, you may also want to potentially add a second dishwasher, or you may even want to put your dishwasher in the butler's pantry. Um, and same thing with the fridge. You may not need a second fridge, but some people like to put their fridge in the butler's pantry. It's going to determine how big it is. Um, Maybe just before we go back into it, he's gonna have a door. So one of the big things is, do you need a door in your butler's pantry? Do you wanna have it so it's concealed and closed? You can keep all the mess in there. Do you wanna have no door on it so it actually becomes uh, essentially part of your kitchen? Um, it's not actually a closed off area. So when you're cooking, when you have people over, you're moving in and out of the butt. Whoa. <laughs> just bump the blinds. So you're moving in and out of the butler's pantry, grabbing all the items you need. Um, so guys, we're talking about sinks, we talked about fridges, we talked about dishwashers. Um, other things that you may want to include in there is potentially your microwave. Now microwaves, things that generally not used a lot often, but maybe they might be. So if it's something that you don't use often, you may want to put it into your butler's pantry. You can potentially have it sitting on top of the counter. Um, coffee machines is another big one. If you want to have that out on the counter, you can definitely have it there as well too. Another thing I want to touch about with Butler's Pantry is things like your kettle, your toaster, where are these items going to go? Are they going to go in your Butler's Pantry? Are you going to have a space for them outside? So guys, what I've hopefully done here is given you a bit of a list of things that you may want to include in your Butler's Pantry, but the ultimate thing it's going to come down to is how are you going to use your Butler's Pantry? Is it going to be used just for storage? Do you plan on using it a lot and saving your kitchen so all the mess and rubbish is in there? Um, you may even want to have an extra stove in there because you may want to do all your cook it in there. So guys, it really can be as little as just a pantry um, or it can be as much as almost a fully complete second kitchen. So the way I would approach it guys is obviously your budget's going to come into play, but how do you want to use your butler's pantry? Do you want it to be a full second kitchen or do you just want it to be basic and simple storage? Guys, what I would love to know in the comments below what you have in your butler's pantry and why. How do you use it? Do you use it just for storage or do you use it like your second kitchen? Guys, also, if you know anyone who's a little bit confused about their butler's pantry, definitely tag them in the comments below so they can watch this video and get a little bit better of an understanding of what to include in their butler's pantry. All right, guys, if you have anything you want me to cover on upcoming Simone TVs, let me know and I will do my best to cover them for you. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Bye for now.